Welcome back to another delicious demo. In today's demo, we're going to be taking a look at how strong your chocolate really is. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the microstructure. To test how strong a material is, we have a variety of mechanical tests. Strength is the measurement of maximum stress a material can withstand. Stress is the force applied per unit area. It's important to understand how materials react to stresses in order to ensure that you have the correct desired properties for your application. An important factor that influences the strength of materials is atomic structure. Materials that share the same atomic traits have different strengths, depending on their microstructure. These chocolate bars have the same atomic traits, milk chocolate. However, their microstructures are different. For example, we have almonds in a bar, crispy rice, and wafers. We'll be using a three-point bending test to test the strength of these chocolate bars. We have two supports on the edge of each chocolate bar, and we have a force being applied on the center of the bar. We're going to calculate flexural strength, the highest strength the material experiences during its moment of failure using this equation. Let's start out with the three-point bending test. Now, let's break down what exactly happened here. The first bar was plain milk chocolate. It has no changes to the microstructure. Next, we have the chocolate bar with almonds. The almonds act like large defects. Almonds are stronger than chocolate and very dense and non-porous. The chocolate, therefore, isn't making a strong bond with these almonds. Furthermore, the almonds are large in diameter when compared to the thickness of the chocolate bar. If the bonds are already weak and the bond runs the entire thickness of the chocolate bar, i.e. the almond is sticking out on both sides of the chocolate bar, this leads to decreased strength. The almond chocolate bar should fail at a lower load than the plain milk chocolate, depending on how close the almond is to the point of loading. Next, let's compare the crisp rice bar. The crisp rice is much more evenly distributed than the almonds. Crisp rice is low density and high porosity. This means that the chocolate and rice have a better bond. The crisp rice is small in comparison to the thickness of the chocolate bar, therefore the chocolate is more evenly spread on the rice allowing for good load transfer across the bar. This bar performed better than the original plain milk chocolate bar. Finally, let's compare the milk chocolate versus Coffee Crisp in terms of specific strength. Coffee Crisp has a construction very similar to the composite sandwich panel used in airplane wings. It has a chocolate foam sandwiched by wafers, then coated with a hard chocolate outside. Coffee Crisp is stronger than the regular chocolate bar. It is also less heavy with the same dimensions as there is more space within the bar. Additives and processing can cause materials to exhibit different properties. So next time you're looking at materials for applications such as concrete, bricks, and many more, think about why certain things are added to the mix. And in the context of chocolate bars, think about how these additives can reduce or influence costs. Thank you for joining me on this delicious demo and I'll see you on the next one.